All right, guys. What is up? It is me, Dave Davidel Computes, and today we're back with another tech video. So, so guys, you remember this thing, right? This Windows 11, this laptop, that theoretically is capable of running Windows 11, right? You remember how I said that I couldn't install it because the bat, because um, uh, it was like shorting out or whatever, and it was it just randomly shut down. Turns out, um, uh, thanks to this commenter for suggesting this, um, I'll show him on screen here. But um, uh, basically, he said that. The battery could be so old that I could be shorting out the entire computer. And I tried that. I actually took it out. If I flip it to the back here. As you can see, I took the battery out. And guess what? It worked completely fine. It did not shut down at all. So, yeah, that's um uh, pretty awesome. Uh, but one bad thing about this is that I did find out something. Okay, so let me just show you here. So, look here. Hang on a second. Let me just quickly grab a few tools. Alright, so look here, I have a plot bootloader disk right here. So basically, if you don't know what this does, it, um, uh, basically since this computer is so old, it doesn't support USB booting at all, okay? But look here, basically what this does is it, it, it boots into this, okay? The computer boots into the CD, and then plot bootloader starts up and gives you the option to boot to a USB de device, which, let me just quickly get it here. This right here is my USB hard drive. This it, this contains all of my boot files, which actually wait, this is this is the wrong hard drive. This actually is my boot USB hard drive. This has a ton of ISOs on it, with ranging from Windows 98 OEM all the way up to Windows 11 Home. So yeah, it's pretty useful to have this thing on hand. But uh, yeah, don't ask me why I have multiple laptop hard drives and I'm currently using them all. This one actually has all my video footage. Uh, but yeah, let me just quickly swap swap out the hard drives here. All right, but yeah, I've um, uh, put in my USB IS, my ISO hard drive into and I've plugged it into the laptop. Uh, this does have four USB 2 ports, which is pretty good. That means that it does um, uh, support Windows 11. Let's go ahead. I think I need to turn on first. All right, guys, I forgot to mention. So look here. I'll, let me show you the problem first, okay? Let me quickly get into like the boot menu. Okay, let me just quickly uh, get to the use to the CD drive. Let's go ahead and bring that out. Let's go ahead and place our plot bootloader CD in there. Come on, get in there. There you go. Is it reading it? I don't know. I think it's because we're in the boot menu. All right, there you go. Then it detects the CD, and as you can see here, it's going into plot boot load, and there you go. And then all you have to do is you go down to USB, press USB, then toy loading. There you go. We have it. There it is. Okay. So, first things first, uh, let me go and show you what happens. Okay, so look here. I have Windows 11, um, uh, I have the full version right here. That's not going to work because that requires SSE 4, which this laptop does not have so we have to go over to tiny 11 so let's go ahead and do that this is based off 23 h2 which doesn't require sse4 all right let me show you the problem okay boot in normal mode so it loads up which this that's it seems promising at first but let let me show you the problem here one eternity later yeah as you can see there it rebooted it didn't work. Let me get into the boot menu again. But yeah, as you can see there, it rebooted. It, it didn't work. Now normally, if it reboots like that, that would normally mean that you're lacking instructions, okay? Or, I don't know, okay? But, last time I saw something like that happen, it was on a computer that lacked the instructions, okay? Or in other words, lacked 64-bit. But this thing does have it. It has LHS, SHF support in 64-bit mode, okay? I literally searched it up, and someone has installed Windows 11 on this tier of hardware before, okay? So, yeah, that's that's quite unfortunate. I have no clue why it's not doing it. I tested Windows 7 64-bit, works fine. I tested Vista 64-bit, works fine. And X and XP works fine, so it clearly can handle 64-bit op operating systems. Not only that, but I also tested Windows 10 32-bit. That worked fine. It just, it just hates me. This computer hates me. It just doesn't want to install Windows 11 64-bit. Or Windows 10 64-bit, for that matter, either. Which is very confusing, because this supports it. This fully supports it. Okay? And I know you might be saying, Oh, it's because you have one gigabyte of RAM. Well, look here. 
it would at least say, give you the option to go to the setup, okay? Which is very confusing because it's not doing that either. But yeah, this is, that's, it's quite sad why it's not doing it. I have no clue why. I think it just hates me. Because, you know, it has all the instructions. It meets everything. It meets, you know, the requirements to at least get the setup up and running. Okay? Now look here, if, it's, if, if it, you know, had problems while running Windows 11, I'd be fine with that. Because that, that, that's expected. This thing has one gig of RAM. Okay, it, it would not run Windows 11 well, but I should at least get to the setup, unlike, you know, just rebooting. So, yeah, that's why I'm kind of stumped here. So, if I go ahead and enter the setup, as you can see here, it was originally on BIOS version F33. I actually booted into Windows XP and installed it on this, um, the 32-bit Windows XP. Um, apparently, it was, actually, um, it was actually a bit of a problem, because Windows XP, SP... Apparently, my version of Windows XP, the one on this one, which is Service Pack 3, um, just random ISO I downloaded from Archive, um, it doesn't support HCI drivers, which I thought wouldn't be a problem for this since it has IDE and not a SATA port, but I don't know, it kept throwing up that error. So what I did was I used that Dell disk thing, and I booted into that, and that, but that only had Service Pack 1, so then I upgraded to this, and now it works perfectly fine. Which, I don't know why that, why it, did, why it didn't work when it booted from the USB hard drive, don't ask me. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, um, that's the problem. Um, uh, but I did, like I said, I up, I updated the BIOS, because I thought that the BIOS might be the issue. Maybe this bi maybe the original BIOS I went on this laptop was so old it didn't even want you didn't even want to you know talk to Windows 11 but no even with this new BIOS it does the exact same thing okay which is extremely annoying because this laptop can run it it's just that it just doesn't want to it just doesn't feel like it you know so yeah unfortunately it doesn't work currently what I've done is I've just installed Windows XP to it if I exit state discarding changes I've currently just installed Windows XP 32 bit to it because how I how I you know deal with operating systems is if it can't run Windows 11, I just put its original operating system back, you know, like the original one that would have came on it. But yeah, as you can see here, we currently we're currently booting into XP 32 bit. And now I I tried to boot you know I tried to you know put XP 64 bit, but I couldn't find a good 64 bit ISO. All of them were really garbage and scummy. Or just in, like, French or something. But yeah, I t did install all the drivers, and I did install some games, and also Minecraft. So, yeah. This, um, uh, now if I go ahead... Where is it? Right-click on my computer. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that's what, this doesn't really work well with XP that well. It is a hard drive, but I mean, still, though, I would expect XP to work better with a hard drive. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, we still have... Now, originally I thought it was an ML32, but it's got an ML34. But uh, but that came released with the ML32, so technically it's, it is also still one of the oldest 64-bit capable processors. But it just it just doesn't want to work with Windows 11. This, this laptop just hates Windows 11 for some reason. I mean, it supports Windows 10 32-bit, and supports Windows 7 64-bit, so it has 64-bit capabilities... And the stuff necessary to at least get the setup started for Windows 11. Now look here, let me show you um, another version of Windows 11 I got. So look here, I was afraid that they might have added a secret requirement in there that n that I just didn't know none of us kn knew about because you know no one was expecting me to people to install Windows 11 on this tier of hardware. But yeah, I I got Windows 11 Pro um uh, 21H2 I think. No no Windows Windows. 11 Enterprise 21H2. Okay, there you go. So if I go ahead and boot back to this USB hard drive with Ventoy on it. So yeah, Ventoy is actually a very useful tool. I highly recommend you use it. It's not... Unlike Rufus, you can actually, you know, like, use it like... One hard... One of these hard drives can have several ISOs, and it works perfectly fine. Alright, but yeah, if we go ahead and boot into USB here. Yeah. But look here, as you can see here, I have, where is it? It should be down here. Right here, Windows 11 Lite, 21H2 ISO. So, yeah. 
That's and it did the exact same thing. Now, funnily enough, since it's such an old version of Windows 11, it has the Windows 10 logo. In fact, I think that's that might be how they get you, because it's because it's a Windows 10 setup that secretly installs Windows 11. But yeah, as you can see here, yeah, there is hard drive activity. That's what this when this blinks, it means that there's hard drive um, activity going on. Come on. Yeah, it reboots. It just, I don't know. I have, okay, I also have Windows 10 64 bit. So let me show you what happens when I try and install that. It does, look here. Actually, you know what? I can, I can just tell you. It does the exact same thing, Windows 10 64 bit. But Windows 10 32 bit, for some reason, actually works if it if it actually you know like loads loads up here but yeah that's it's extremely confusing because i mean this thing supports 64-bit now look here normally what this would mean is that it's lacking lhaf shf requirements but it supports 64-bit i mean even like every i've seen someone install windows 11 64-bit to this tier of hardware and it's just just not working it's not working Yeah, as you can see here, when it, you know, inevitably loads. I'll, yeah. Okay, there's the Windows 10 logo. Instead of rebooting, it actually loads. But look here, I don't really feel like installing Windows 10 to this laptop. Because, I mean, that, that'd just be ending it. I actually did install it once, and it was slow. Like, holy crap, it was almost as slow as the Atom. In fact, no, it was slower, because that the Atom had an SSD in it, the netbook. So look here, I don't think I've made a video on this yet, but I have made a short before. I have um, the netbook right here, which I put a tough gaming sticker on it for some reason, but I mean, technically it is Asus, so you know. But yeah, I put Windows 10 32-bit on this, and it it's not great, but you know, at least it's not fr slow from having a hard drive. This, on the other hand, has an IDE connector, so unless if I pay some money, okay, I spend some more money on this, and buy an IDE SSD, it's going to be extremely slow. And especially with its w measly one gigabyte of RAM, it's it's going to constantly use the hard drive as RAM because it doesn't have enough RAM. But yeah, as you can see here, Windows 10 32-bit loads perfectly fine, you know? No problem whatsoever. But just that 64-bit just reboots. You know what, though? I haven't tried one thing, which I was hoping might work. So look here, in Ventoy, there's an option f called WinBoot Mode. I have no clue what that does, but if I click on it, I wonder what happens if I set, if I click on win boot mode. Get me into the freaking boot menu. There you go. All right. I'm going to hope that win boot mode does something cuz look here, getting to the setup screen is enough for me to be happy. Okay? But I wonder what happens if I actually do click on win boot mode cuz I never tried before cuz I never had to use it. So look here. The, let's go and start with just Windows 11 Lite. Okay, this is the version I installed on the Chromebooks. It's Enterprise, and it has no updates, so this should run perfectly fine. Okay, it's very optimized. Let's see here, WinBoot. I have no clue what WinBoot means. Let's click on it. Yeah, sure. Oh? Oh, something's happening. Loading files. Oh, I think this may be that Ventoy is doing the setup process. I don't know what this means. I have no clue what Wimboot means. Okay, like, look here. I know that there's some of you guys that know what it means because you're smarter than me, but, you know, I don't know. Comment down below um, uh, if you know what Wimboot is. Wait. Loading files. And it restarted. What I see here might boot into the Windows 10 installer. And no, it doesn't. Okay, so we have no clue why it's restarting during the logo. So, yeah, I, I don't know, guys. If you have any ideas, comment down below uh, for suggestions and, you know... 
Maybe, maybe one of one of your suggestions might work, you know. So yeah, actually, you know what? I have a good idea. What? So look here. Some people did this to bypass Windows 11 system requirements early on, before you know Rufus gave you like Rufus or Tiny 11 that ever existed, you know, for you know Windows 11. But yeah, I wonder. Theoretically, you could trick the Windows 10 installer into installing Windows 11. You can do that. And it'll just boot into Windows 11 because it's installing Windows 11. So yeah, I wonder if that might work. I could try that, but I mean, I don't know, guys. Honestly, I'm all out of ideas, okay? I've updated the BIOS, and I, actually, that's all I've done. I it can't be RAM issues because I've installed, or at least I've gotten the setup starting on a 1 gigabyte of RAM computer before. So yeah, it can't be that can't be the issue, right? Who knows guys? If um uh, if you leave suggestions down below in the comments. Um uh, but honestly, I'm all out of ideas, okay? So yeah, this project might be um a failure if if, you know, we can't get Windows Lemon installed on it. But yeah guys, leave your suggestions down below and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Subscribe